with widespread flooding concerns in the forecast. One of the most flood prone areas of our region is on alert tonight. WBC's Brandon Truitt is live in Haverhill right now. And Brandon, any high water spots so far? Not yet. Something they are expecting, though, in the morning. The rain is definitely picking up by the minute here. But I want to show you something. This parking lot I'm standing in was all white when we got here, covered in snow. The rain now, since it made that switch, is doing exactly what it's supposed to or what is expected, and that's melting it down and moving it out of here. Crews in Haverhill have been working for this to get ready for this since the weekend. Tuesday's storm started as picturesque as any, snow falling with thick flakes, but it didn't last long. By 8 Tuesday night, that snow turned to rain, the beginning of hours long, steady rainfall that will present a different kind of challenge. Can never get enough done, but we, we did what we could with what we had. Robert Ward is the director of public works in Haverhill. His team has been working since Saturday to clear snow. Sidewalks are passable, most roads are down to pavement. But on Tuesday, the city put all of their resources into clearing these catch basins. Their concern is the expected rain, paired with the already accumulated 18 inches of melting snow, leaves a lot of water looking for a place to go. And for an area with saturated ground, that could mean flooding. There are 10,000 basins in the city, and Ward admits his team did not have enough time to hit them all. We switched people off of clearing and cleaning up snow to uh, clearing catch basins. So we have about 20 areas around the city that are prone to flooding. So uh, they were focused on those and clearing those out and then whatever they could get to after that. The city is most concerned about flooding right around sunrise Wednesday. They're asking anyone with a drain in front of their home to clear it if you can, hoping all this water has the best chance of finding a way out. And I spoke with the superintendent tonight. She says they are closely monitoring what happened overnight. She expects the district to make a decision on school classes by tomorrow morning. Live in Haverhill, Brandon True at WBZ News. Oh, the kids will be waiting for that decision. Brandon, thank you.